Is Amola the Grand Prix where everything is changing? Ferrari is bringing major updates. McLaren just won. And Red Bull Racing seems to have lost a bit of race pace. Will we get a three-team fight for victory? Let's dive in. The first European Grand Prix is around the corner, and almost every team is bringing updates. This could be the pivotal moment in the current Red Bull Racing, or Max Verstappen dominance, that a lot of fans want to see. All the teams that are bringing updates want to change how their season is going. The whole top 10 might even change after this race. In this video, we're going to focus on the top three teams because I think this is the most exciting part. Everyone wants to see more competitiveness at the front, right? I'll also touch briefly on the circuit and why teams are bringing all these updates to Amola. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Red Bull is the dominating force, but they aren't that dominant this season. In Bahrain and China, they showed how fast they are, but the competition is coming close. Max Verstappen has a significant point lead over his nearest competitors. He holds a 33-point lead over his teammate, a 38-point lead over Charles Leclerc, and a 53-point lead over Lando Norris. With such a lead, you'd say it's easy for him to become a champion. If we look back to 2022, Verstappen had a 46-point disadvantage over Charles Leclerc. And what happened? He closed it in just three races. The season is open wide, and Amola can be the game changer. Red Bull is bringing an update to Amola. It's expected to be an upgrade for the floor, and this can increase their pace dramatically. In Japan, they brought the first part of the update, and this update enhanced the edges of the floor and changed their side pods. Will it be a big lap time improvement? I don't know, but what we do know is that most of their upgrades always work. Everything is still possible, but we have to admit that Red Bull will still be the favorite for the upcoming race and the whole season. They didn't have the best setup in Miami, and Verstappen damaged his car, so we don't know how close it actually was with Norris. McLaren bought last year a season change update. They brought this season's big update in Miami, and Lando Norris immediately won the Grand Prix. The car has a completely new floor and side pod design for better aerodynamics. It looked like they closed the gap massively. What's even more impressive is that Oscar Piastri, without all the updates, was not that far off Lando Norris's race pace, who had all the upgrades on his car. The updates are focused on better tire management and race performance, which make them a strong opponent. Lando Norris was in Miami quicker on old tires than drivers on new tires, and as said before, Verstappen didn't have the best setup and has damage to his floor. The damage was supposed to be around two tenths per lap, he did say that the times both McLaren drivers did in the race were not possible for him. With a normal race weekend and both cars with all the updates, McLaren can really test the car. They might even unlock more potential with all the data they're going to collect this race weekend. Can they fight again for the win in Italy? I guess we'll see. Now, on to Ferrari. The Italian team is bringing a 2.0 version of their car to Amola. It's a really aggressive upgrade, which is supposed to be a performance gain of 3 to 4 tenths per lap. This would bring them in the championship fight with Red Bull Racing, and a race win would definitely be possible. We know how the upgrades will look because they did them in their filming session last week, and I'm not talking about the ugly HP sponsor. Ferrari is bringing updates to the side pods, floor, and overall aerodynamics. All of this improve race performance, tire degradation, and consistency in downforce. With such an upgrade, it could be a total disaster, and this would not be the first time that this has happened to Ferrari. They do look different since Fred Vassar is in charge, the team is making better choices, they have better communication, and the car is already pretty decent. Other teams did bring updates, and Ferrari still managed to stay in front of them. This shows they already have a strong package. All of the Ferrari members speak highly of this update, and do think that their season officially starts in Amola. They do think they can even win in Amola. This could backfire, but the amount of faith they have in this update has to say something. With Charles Leclerc being really consistent and Carlos Sainz already winning a Grand Prix this year, it can be an exciting race weekend for the Tifosi. Let's talk about the circuit. The Amola track layout is a combination of a long straight at start-finish, high-speed corners in Sector 1, followed up with a mix of medium and slow-speed corners in Sector 2 and 3. With such a variety, it's the perfect track to bring upgrades. The team can test them extensively and see if they improve on every part or, for example, only in slow speed. If this is a weakness of their car, it's a fantastic way to evaluate and improve. Amola is very technical, which makes it tricky to test certain updates because there's always a possibility of crashing. It's not really easy to overtake in Amola either, so qualification is really important. 
Will we really see a three-team fight for pole position and the race win, or is Red Bull again the car to beat? Will McLaren again be quick, and is the Ferrari upgrade really three to four tenths? A lot of questions before this Grand Prix, and I'm really excited. Mercedes and Aston Martin are also bringing upgrades, so who knows what happens. With Lando Norris coming off of his first race win in Miami, I've made a video about this career until his first win. Go watch this video right now, and don't forget to like and subscribe.